Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today's lecture is about temperature inversion and this is the part 5 of lecture series about atmosphere so under normal conditions temperature usually decreases with increase in altitude in the troposphere at a rate of 1 degree for every 165 meters this is called as normal lapse rate but on some occasions the situation get reversed and temperature starts increasing with height rather than increase decreasing this is called as temperature inversion so if we are seeing here that this is the earth's atmosphere so as we are getting up in the height so the air is first warmer then it becomes cooler and then it becomes further cool down whereas in inversion of temperature situation the ground level air becomes cooler whereas then the upper layer becomes warmer and the upper top layer becomes cold again so we can say in temperature inversion the warm layer is sandwiched between two cold layers of air so temperature inversion is defined as that it is a condition in which there is actually a reversal of the normal behavior of temperature in the troposphere under this meteorological phenomena a layer of warm layer overlies or lies over the cold layer of air so this is called as temperature inversion it is caused in static atmospheric conditions while sometimes it may occur during horizontal or vertical movement of the air temperature inversion is usually of short duration but quite common nonetheless so following are the favorable conditions for temperature inversion the number 1 is the long winter nights loss of heat by terrestrial radiation from the ground surface during night may exceed the amount of incoming solar radiation so if the heat loss is greater and the surface becomes cooler easy easily that happens in long winter nights so the temperature inversion condition um, is created in that environment second is the cloudless and clear sky so when the there are no cloud cover and the skies are clear so there is no obstruction for the radiation that is emitted from the earth surface and it easily passes to the space so when there is no obstruction the lower ground becomes cooler more easily so as a result of which the condition of temperature inversion becomes more dominant next favorable condition is dry air near the ground surface dry air actually limits the absorption of the radiated heat from the earth surface so as a result of which heat is not emitted on the ground layers so the ground layers becomes cold as compared to the upper layers similarly the next point is the slow movement of air actually slow movement of air or static conditions result in no transfer or mixing of heat in the lower layers of the atmosphere and finally the snow covered ground surface this is the condition it results in maximum loss of heat through reflection of incoming solar radiation so as a result of which the ground becomes cooler as compared to the upper atmosphere so these were the favorable conditions for the development of temperature inversion phenomenon temperature inversion occurs in several conditions ranging from ground surface to great heights thus there are several kinds of temperature inversions The following are classified on the basis of relative heights from the earth surface at which it occurs and the type of air circulation. So the types of temperature inversion so there are two major types one is called as non-advectional and other is called as advectional. The non-advectional type is further divided into two types one is called as radiation inversion and other is called as subsidence inversion. Similarly the advectional type is Now further divided into two types one is called as valley inversion and other is called as cyclonic inversion so overall there are four types of temperature inversions 
फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वट डज मीन बाय एडवेक्शनल एंड नॉन एडवेक्शनल टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन सो एडवेक्शनल मीन्स इट इज़ द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ अ प्रॉपर्टी और अ सबस्टांस बाय फ्लूड्स बल्क मोशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द विंड कैरिंग हीट और पोलूटेंट्स फ्राम वन प्लेस टू एन अदर वेयर एज नॉन एडवेक्शनल मीन्स द प्रॉपर्टी और अ सबस्टांस दैट इज़ नॉट बींग ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय द बल्क मोशन ऑफ अ फ्लूड इट कुड बी ड्यू टू दी अदर प्रोसेस लाइक डिफ्यूजन रेडिएशन और केमिकल रिएक्शंस लाइक इन दिस टाइप ऑफ टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन नो विंड इज इन्वॉल्व वेयर एज इन एडवेक्शनल टाइप विंड इज इन्वॉल्व एंड इट हेल्प्स टू ट्रांसफर हीट फ्राम वन सर्फेस टू अदर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन and it is from the group of non advectional temperature inversion so this type of inversion is called as radiation inversion this type is also called as surface temperature inversion so surface temperature inversion develops when air is cooled by contact with colder surface until it becomes cooler than the overlying atmosphere this occurs most often on clear nights when the ground cools off radi- rapidly by radiation if the temperature of the surface air drops below its dew point fog may result it is very common in the higher latitudes in lower and middle latitudes it occurs during cold nights and gets destroyed during day time so if we are seeing here said this is the temperature profile in the day time so as we are seeing here that in the day time the overall environment on the surface of the earth is warm however in the night the surface becomes cool rapidly and whereas the top environment it remain as in the warmer temperature so with the passage of time the ground becomes cooler whereas the upper top surface becomes hotter so in this way the condition of temperature inversion develops and a fog is created on ground and this fog vanished as the day appears the second type of non advectional temperature inversion is called as subsidence inversion this inversion is also called as upper surface temperature inversion so when a wide spread layer of air descends from higher heights it is compressed and heated by the resulting increase in atmospheric temp pressure as a result the lapse rate of the temperature is reduced the air at higher altitudes become warmer so due to this movement and compression of air molecules in this region the warm layer is created and uh, producing a temperature inversion condition whereas the cooler uh, air is trapped below this warm layer so this type of temperature inversion is called as subsidence inversion it is very common over the northern continents in winter having dry atmosphere and over the subtropical oceans these regions generally have subsidizing uh, subsidizing air because they are located under high pressure centers it is also called as upper surface temperature inversion because it takes place in the upper parts of the atmosphere next type of inversion is called as valley inversion and it is a type of advectional temperature inversion so in high mountains or deep valleys sometimes the temperature of the lower layers of air increases instead of decreasing while with elevation along a sloping surface so here the surface radiates heat back to the space rapidly and cools down at a faster rate than the upper layers as a result the lower cold layers get condensed and becomes heavy so if we are seeing here that this is a valley region and this is the slope of this valley so in the deeper regions of the valley the temperature loses and the air becomes cooler whereas that temperature release is 
radiate in this upper layer so in this way the colder layer gets trapped whereas the heat which is emitted from the lower areas is gone upward and because it is lighter in weight so this air becomes stay here whereas other layer which is colder uh, that becomes uh, above this warm layer so in this way the warm layer is get trapped between these two colder layers the sloping surface underneath makes them move towards the bottom where the cold layer settle down as a zone of low temperature while the upper layers are relatively warmer this condition opposite to normal vertical distribution of temperature is known as the valley inversion of temperature inversion type next type of temperature inversion which is again of advectional type is called as frontal or cyclonic inversion how this temperature inversion occurs when the warm air and cold air fronts meet together at a place then the warm front rises up being lighter whereas the heavier front it moves or sinks down it results in the formation of a frontal inversion it has considerable slope as we are seeing here that it has a slope whereas other inversions were nearly all were horizontal whereas this has a slope so it often takes place in the temperate zones and cause cyclonic conditions so a cyclone is developed which results in the form of precipitation of different forms a frontal inversion is usually very unstable and is destroyed as the weather changes so if we are seeing here that this is the cold region that is shown in blue whereas the pink color is shown the warm air and here there is the emission of some war, uh, warm air from the chimney so if you are seeing here that this warm air stops further rise why the warm air not rise above in the atmosphere because it struck with the more warmer air so in this way a front is formed and a slope is formed and as a result of this slope formation it is a perfect condition for the production of cyclones so these were the r types of temperature inversions again here the mass of temperature is carried by the wind so that is why it is called as a vectional type of temperature inversion temperature inversion determines the precipitation forms clouds and also cause frost due to condensation of warm air due to the below lying cooling air so what are the effects the first effect is dust particles hanging in air due to inversion of temperature air pollutants such as dust particles and smoke do not disperse on the surface second is the stops air movement so it causes the stability of the atmosphere the conditions become stagnant that stops the downward and upward movement of air next effect is less rainfall convection clouds cannot move high upward so there is less rainfall and no showers so it causes a problem for agriculture productivity next is the lower visibility fog is formed due to the situation of warm air above and cold air below and hence visibility is reduced which causes disturbance in transportation and the last is thunderstorms and tornadoes intense thunderstorms and tornadoes are also associated with inversion of temperature because of the intense energy that is released after an inversion blocks an area's normal convection patterns diurnal variations in temperature tend to be very small so these were the effects of temperature inversion i hope you have well understood this lecture but if still you have confusion in your mind you can ask the questions in the comment section of uh, this video i hope uh, you have well understood this lecture okay thank you allah hafiz